Step number one, take your base chassis assembly and take two T-clamps and place them in the front slots provided in your chassis. All done. Step number two, take an IR sensor and take a 12 mm screw and pass it through the hole in the IR sensor. Now take a nut and tighten it properly. Just like that. You have to make a pair of IR sensors with screws mounted. Step number 3 Take your IR sensor and attach it onto the T-clamp Pass the IR sensor through the holes present in your T-clamp Now let's flip it around for tightening. Now take a nut and tighten the IR sensor onto the T-clamp. Turn turn all the way down until it's tightened properly. Tighten the second IR sensor onto the T-clamp with the help of nuts. And that looks good. We are done. Step number 4. Take your motor driver board. You can see there are holes present on your motor driver board. Now take a 12mm screw and pass it through the hole present in your motor driver board. Now gently flip it around and tighten the screws with the help of nuts. Turn turn all the way down until it's tightened properly. That looks good. Step number 5. Now take your motor driver board and attach it onto your chassis. You can see there are holes present on your chassis so you can attach your motor driver board onto it. Now flip it around and tighten the motor driver board onto the chassis with the help of nuts. Step number 6 Take the two wires coming from your BO motor and attach it to your motor driver board in the green connectors. Now push the wire inside the green connector and tighten it with the help of a screwdriver. Now you insert the black wire into the green connector and then tighten it with the help of a screwdriver. Make sure it's tight. Now do the same with the other two wires as well. Step number 7 Now you can see there is a 5V and a 0V present in your motor driver board and there is a 5V and a 0V present in your IR sensor as well. Now take jumper wires 
and attach it onto the 5V and 0V present in your motor driver board. There are two 5V and two 0V present in your motor driver board. Now attach the 5V wire from the motor driver board onto the 5V of your IR sensor. Attach the 0V onto the 0V of your IR sensor. Now do the same with the other IR sensor as well. The 5V from the motor driver board is to be connected to the 5V of your IR sensor and the 0V of your motor driver board is to be connected onto the 0V of your IR sensor. Now you can have to connect I1 and I3 in your motor driver board. And connect this to the D0 present in your IR sensor. And we are done. Step number 8. Now take your battery and attach it onto your chassis. Now connect it to your motor driver board. Now the LED will start to blink. Now when the IR sensor comes in contact with the white surface, the tires start turning. However, when the IR sensor comes in contact with the black surface, the tires stop. And all done.